Hey everyone, it's uh, coming up to 30 minutes past midnight on the 26th of August and this is the second video of my car boot finds. We've got three Dell computers plus monitor plus keyboard and I pay just £10 for the lot. Um, so we've got a Dell Optiplex GX620 with the Windows XP stickers on it. Then we've got Optiplex 755 which had Windows Vista stickers on but they were peeling off so I picked them off. And then we've got another Windows Vista here but this one's the Optiplex 745. No. That one works and someone's actually upgraded it to Windows 10. Um, and they've put 4 gigabytes of RAM in it. It's DDR2, dual core processor. I actually haven't looked at what the speed is. I just powered them up at mum's just to see if they did anything. Except that one. Because I didn't have a VGA cable. These two are DVI, that's got VGA. So, I'm just going to tuck this one down here for now. This one seems to be temperamental with the RAM. Um, so I've taken the RAM out and they're in a carrier bag down there. I did get it to work using the RAM from this one. In fact, what I will do, we'll demonstrate this one first, shall we? No idea what these bolts are for, sticking out the back here. Um, yeah, not sure about that. Right, but yeah, I've got this nice Dell monitor as well. The mouse is mine. That's just what I've dug up to use on this. Right, so plug that in. Also, with these little Dell Optiplexes, it has an external power brick. Now, a few years ago, I did have one of these, but it was missing the disk drive. And I think I just sold it for spares or repairs because I just thought I'm never going to get round to fixing it up and whatnot, which is what I wanted to do. But now I've got myself two working ones, so I'll just plug everything in. This is the little keyboard, it's a tiny little keyboard. And this likes to turn itself on as soon as you plug the power in. Yeah, it's a dinky little keyboard, I like it. Put the keyboard in. I need the DVI cable. Now this monitor came with the shortest ever DVI cable. That is, that is literally it. <laughs> Never seen one that short. But I suppose it makes sense because with a lot of computers like this, especially in offices and libraries and whatnot, the monitor would sit on here. So I'm guessing this might be X. You know, an ex-business laptop. Right. Is it actually going to do anything? My keyboard's not lit up either, so... We'll turn it off. Turn it back on. There we go. Coming up keyboard failure again. It was doing this earlier kept coming up keyboard failure. Don't know if it's the keyboard because all this cable is taped up so there might be a faulty connection there. It doesn't matter, I've got another one up here. Yeah. She don't want to play ball this time I've got a, coincidentally a Dell keyboard at hand. Right. Is it the keyboard or is it this just being arsey? Let's find out. I was working sweet as a nut at mum's. There we go. System battery voltage is low. Right, so I need to replace that. So that means this one's this one's got a connection issue. I couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, I've paid £10 for these, something's going to be wrong with them. 
Well, I had looked in the covers and it did have hard drives present, apart from the one that I put on the floor. That doesn't. Um, but it's got RAM. All four slots are occupied with RAM. This is okay. I'm going to show you one of the RAM sticks of this one actually because it surprised me. But look, it's fully working. Graphics seem a bit off. I don't think it's got proper. Um, see how jerky that menu was? I'll do it again, shall I? See, it just seems a bit jerky for some reason. I want to go settings, do I? Let's just see uh, if it's going to tell me what the processor is. Actually, I think I looked and I don't think it told me what speed it was. All I know is it's your call. Bastard moved everything. <laughs> So 1.86 gigahertz, uh, 6300 Intel Core, 2 CPU, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit operating system, my pen touch, and according to this, Windows is activated. Um, I've got quite a nice little uh, Windows 10 machine there. I don't want to do it to the other one. That is actually running Windows Vista. Um, and I don't. I know people say Windows Vista is crap, but I don't actually have one in my collection of PCs. So I would like a working one. Going to shut off? Or you are going to shut off? <laughs> so I've actually got a pile of RAM here that I'm going to try on that one. Going to take that out. Just let that show off because I want to show you that RAM stick. So I can't believe how thin it is. So to get inside, there is just a little blue. It's just that little blue catch there, and all you do is twist it that way. Boop. Pops the lid. Just a view inside. What it's like inside. You've got Western Digital Blue in here. This memory stick surprised me. I'll get this one out. Look at it. Look at it. How thin it is. Compared to you know, a standard sized one. It's like half the height. It's a cute little thing. I don't know if anyone else has come across anything like that. But that's the first time I've come across one that's like half height. I never knew such RAM existed. And I'll tell you what. It's really tough getting the memory in those slots. But oh, I just want to mention this as well. See that's got a fan at the front and a fan at the rear as well, so it sort of sucks or blows air in and then sucks it straight out the back. I'm trying to think it's actually a pretty cool pun not intended, a pretty cool um, method to cool the processor. I will most likely do redo the thermal paste on that as I don't know if that was done when the upgrades were done to this little machine. Look how cute that is. Couldn't resist it. Right. Bring this one over. I don't know what the actual difference is between these because they look exactly the same. I've got the exact same. I.O. and whatnot. Um, I don't know if one is like a newer revision to the other or... Shut up, I know the RAM's not in there. Shut up. Turn off. Thank you. Stupid thing. No idea why some Dell PCs do that. They seem to turn themselves on as soon as you plug power in. It's like, ooh, power I can turn on. No, I don't want you on yet. This one's got a Western Digital in it, and that's um, just an 80 gig, and that's just an ordinary Western Digital. 
You see, it looks exactly the same in here as the other one. Exactly the same layout. Yeah, I, I don't know what the difference is. But here we go. I'll bunch around here. Just make sure I can pick up two of the same. Those two are not the same. <laughs> what we got here? Uh, I could just stick one in for now. I think I might end up doing that actually. I just got a gig on. I'll just pick up a random two gig one, shall we, and just chuck in here for now. Preferably around the right way. Right, see if it's still got a belly ache about the round. Yep. Shut up. Doesn't like that one. See, I'll just move it over. Maybe it's got a faulty memory slot on this one. Might be the issue. Don't worry about that, that'll boot up eventually. I did this at Mum's. He says. Connected, but not wanting to play ball. Believe it or not, I only took 512 megabytes of RAM out of this. And this was or is running Windows Vista when I get the bloody thing to boot. Why are they such a pain in the backside? I'm not liking something now. What's that one? Is that a keyboard or is that the mouse? That's the mouse. I'm going to try something. hard drive wind up fine but that's it doesn't do nothing after that just for shits and giggles we'll put another one in shall we Belly aching about the rhyme anymore. Doesn't like that stick. <laughs> There's the problem. Doesn't like that stick. I don't know if I've put a 1 gig or a 2 gig in there. Is that 
for sure. No. No. It's not. Ah. I think these could be a pair. So I'll let this do what it's got to do. It did this before at Mum's as well. I have no idea why it's configuring the IDE. Uh, but once I've done that and I've got it in the Vista, I'll shut it down and I'll try them a um, pair of Crucial in there and see if it'll like it. I hope so. No. Oh, pardon me. Actually, I'm just going to pause for a moment because I'm going to get the bag of um, bits and while that's doing that, I can show you what else I got from the car boot. Right, so I've got my bag of bits. Press F1. I did. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, I didn't do that before. Right. So I found this for three pounds. Ever ready space beam torch. Um, I saw someone restore one of these on YouTube fairly recently, but I'm going to keep this one as it is because it's in pretty good original condition. Wow, that actually blew it up faster than last time. So yeah, I'm going to stick a battery in that later and see if it works. Um, so I've got to keep reaching across. There's the RAM that I took out of this. Yes, yeah, two 256 meg sticks. Lydia, I do. See? Once it's done all that crap and you've got RAM that this machine likes, <laughs> seems to be very picky. Um, it works great. What RAM did I put in here, just out of curiosity? Where is it? I've lost it. There it is. Not sure about the black background Windows is activated according to this. Uh, shut up you noisy bastard. <laughs> Intel Core 2 Duo, Duo CP2, that's an E6, uh, E6550 for those that may want to look up the processor. 2.33 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM, but it's a 32-bit operating system. Bit of a downer. Right, I want to see if I can get this to boot on 4 gigs of RAM. I'm not going to look at the hard drive because I already know it's an 80 gigabyte hard drive. So, let's shut down. I'm going to try those two sticks in. It's going to work fine on 2 gigs. I don't think I'll use it, I just want it as a working machine. So, these are both crucial. We'll try these. Fingers crossed. No. really does not like two memory sticks together, does it? So we've got something against that. Okay. Oh. All three of these are actually crucial. These two. Let's try these two then.
See if it's still going to throw a hissy. Why did it do that? Piece of Why do Ardell's this picky with RAM? I'll put a one gig stick in there and see what happens. No, it really does not like. Maybe two gigs of RAM is actually the max. So I'm going to try something else. That's a one gig. Let's try the two one gigs together. Let's rip the power button off out of the way, shall we? It's just done again, turning itself fucking up. Pack it in. Really don't like it, does it? Really, really does not like it. What's that? Is that? That's another two gig. Oh yeah, there are all 512 made sticks over there. I don't want one mouse. Hey. It's the power supply. It has seemed to be just as temperamental, or at least that button is temperamental. You gonna stay off? Well, they were definitely getting warm. If this one doesn't work, I'll get it hopefully working with a 2 gig stick in and then I'll call it quits and just say it's a mental. A working machine. Thank you, leggy.
Don't know that ram stick, does it? <laughs> um. I guess it's going to have to be one of the crucial sticks. See what I mean by temperamental? That was about to come on just then, wasn't it, when I turned it off? You know what? I'm going to put the bloody lid on this and leave it. Right. <clears throat> I know it works, so let's, let's just unplug everything and leave it. Right. Last one. has got RAM in it, I don't know what RAM. I need to find something to put this uh, DDR2 RAM in. But it's got no hard drive so I know it's not going to boot, but I do want to know if it does turn on and do something. So I'm not going to bother with the mouse, because it's not going to be needed, so I'm going to just plug in that, I need the VGA cable, that's power, we need that as well, oh dear, hmm, I think the power supply might be a bit, um, it stinks in here now. <sighs> Never had one do that before. But, uh, I'm definitely thinking power supply might be duff. <laughs> Flame more. Right. This uses like a laptop disk drive. Can I get this off? Can I get that out? Well, that was a bit of fun. It's the first time um, I've actually managed to let the magic smoke out of something. And I did check the back of this a minute ago. It is set on 230 volts, so that's not the reason. But, uh, yeah, don't know if I've. I don't think I've got a power supply that will fit this. It doesn't look like it's passed on any damage to the motherboard, thank God. But uh, I am going to try and remove the power supply. Three screws there and the screwdriver's behind ya. That made a heck of a crackling noise, didn't it? That certainly made me jump. I didn't get a shock or anything, it just made me jump because I wasn't expecting it. What I might do is just find a temporary power supply. We'll see if I can go bang again. If it goes bang again, then I know there's something wrong with the motherboard, but. I think in another video, I'll open that up and we'll have a look and just see what did go bang. Let me 
you did go pop. Actually, you know what? There's only a few screws on there. Let's see if we can open that up and have a look. This has got four, I think it's four sticks of crucial memory in it. I'll dig out another PSU in a minute, just one that we can temporarily hook into this just to see if the rest of the machine actually works or went bang with it. I don't think it went bang with it, I think it was just this. Alright, so... Oh, I missed one. For all I know, a bug or something could have got in here and uh, short something out. in here. Yes I can. It went down here because I can see a scorch mark right there. Right there. Can you see that? But that's going to need uh, a bit deeper investigation. I'm going to have to take the, the circuit board out of this because um, there's certainly nothing visible on top. But I've got a funny feeling Maybe a capacitor exploded. I'll get this out of here. It's one screw. Two screws. Three. There's a one in this corner as well. I think that's the first bit of excitement I've actually had in one of my videos where something actually goes bang and everything goes dark. But, uh, you never know when you're buying second-hand electrical goods. Cables for that are in the way. Can you tell I care about the screws? <laughs> I'm not seeing anything that obvious under there either. What was it? Let's get that off. Let's snip some wires. It's no bloody good anyway. Blow the fuse, any of the fuses up there. Oh, I found it. It looks like an IC has let loose. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to. Sh You're going to see in there, but it's right in here. 
very black, very sooty all around in there actually. It looks like uh, a few components decided to go pop. So yeah, faulty power supply. Right. Let's just wipe the sweat out of my eyeballs because it's been a hot day. Chuck that in the bin. It's um, actually blown beyond repair. <laughs> Like I said, I just want a temporary supply. I don't want to be too fussy. Oh, you jackass. <laughs> you would be, wouldn't it? I thought that was a 12 pin, it's a 24 pin. Right. Hopefully, this ain't going to go bang again. Scaring the crap out of me once is bad enough. I'll tell you one thing as well. Another fun fact. That's the first time in all the years I've been tinkering with PM computers I've had a power supply actually go bang on me like that. Never had that happen before. Right, plug that in there, and that's all I need power wise. Now, <laughs> I think it may have popped the fuse in this one, so I'm just going to check it. It has. A spider running around on here. I wonder if he had anything to do with it. Right, I'm scared of doing this. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to plug that in. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> the PC is actually powered up. <laughs> Lights are actually on. Right. What I need to do is just get the other cable. I'm going to have to replace the fuse in that. Uh, I've got one at hand I can pinch. In my man drawer, as Michael McIntyre calls them. No, there's no one in there. I can pinch one out of something, just bring it past you and get a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to uh, pinch one from the kettle. I what the hell that was buzzing around on the floor. Moth. Hey, we've got life in there. Wrong cable. We want the VGA one, don't I? Where is it? That's this one. It's going to be so funny if it actually does boot out to the screen. Oh, keyboard. Keyboard, not the mouse, the keyboard. I have got some spare Dell power supplies, but I don't think they're going to fit this particular model. I've got 
shame you haven't turned around at that one. <laughs> really? I won't have to play this video back because I won't know how loud all that crackling and whatnot was. There's another one with a low system battery. Where is it? It's there. Well, it's easy enough to get to. Uh, I'm going to run and set up utility for a minute because I want to see something. Thank you. It's got three gigabytes of RAM installed. Holy shit. And one of those is not installed properly. That might be why. Just shut down again. Shut down. Thank you. Make sure it's all seated. Right. It might have a bad ram stick. This end one's the one that wasn't seated. Let's take that out. Still only got. Uh, now it's only got. Oh yeah, it would be. Because this is dual channel, and you've got to have two sticks in each channel for it to recognise. So even though I've still got a one gig in the other channel, it's not going to recognise. So it's only coming up with two gigs. Not a problem. I have got a big pile of. Uh, DDR2 RAM there. <laughs> That's the blown fuse, isn't it? That ain't no good. Okay, well, at least I know this works. I think this is dual core. No, it isn't. It's single core, but it's a 3 gigahertz processor. Holy monkeys. This, this was for Windows XP as well. Four gigabytes of RAM and Windows... Wow, this would have been quite a nifty little uh, Windows XP. I might put this back to Windows XP then. Oh. There you go. I'm totally distracted because it uh, shows you what I've got. I did pick up a couple of these three-way, three-gang switches. I should have got the rest, really, to be honest. But um, I'm going to put one of these in my brother's little office because uh, once an outside light up, and the one that or the light switch in there is broken. So and look at these. Anyone know what these are? These are actually very old ceramic ceiling roses for light fittings. There you go. <laughs> Couldn't resist picking up a couple of those. Anyway, my battery's about to go dead. The only other thing I got was a half a dozen cars, some hot wheels, some matchboxes. Anyway. I'm going to have a look in my power supplies in a minute because I might actually have one to go in this. I don't know. But I uh, hope you found this video interesting. So thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.